to you. <clears throat> um, thank you very much, <clears throat> Comrade Mkulego Shengwa. Uh, greetings to the national leadership of the IFP that is present in this briefing. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, these are interesting times indeed. Thank you for joining us this afternoon to enable the IFP to brief you as well as the people of South Africa on decisions we have taken as the broad leadership of the party based on the outcome of the 2024 national and provincial elections and on engagements that have taken place since the announcements of the results on the 2nd of June 2024. Throughout the IFP's campaign for 2024, we presented the IFP as a government in waiting, a leadership that must have an influential voice in the governance of our country if we are to rebuild South Africa. We are grateful to the electorate for the remarkable support expressed for the IFP through the ballot box, indicating strong alignment with the IFP's vision of how we can turn South Africa around. Through a free, fair, and democratic election, the electorate indeed rejected the continued majority rule and gave its mandate for coalition governance. Indeed, the 2024 national and provincial elections were a pivotal moment in the history of our country. It marked a turning point in the direction of our country and ushered in a new era in the political dispensation. Coalition governments have come to stay deciding how our country will be governed going forward. The election results put our country at the crossroad. The voters spoke loud and clear that they are not giving one political party a majority rule to govern alone the national government and in Wazulu Natal and Gauteng provincial governments. The people of South Africa who voted said that political parties must find each other, find a common ground, put the interest of the country first and take South Africa forward. Thus, the announcement of the election launched an intensive period of negotiations, speculation, insightful analysis, and even fake news, during which South Africa has held its collective breath, praying for stability and economic growth. The IFP's National Executive Committee met on Sunday, the 2nd of June, 2024, on the day the election results were to be announced in the afternoon and we established a task team led by our deputy president to engage in discussions with other political parties and negotiate the best outcome for South Africa. Following a period of intensive engagements, the task team has finalized its work and has briefed the IFP's NEC. Today, the final report of the task team was tabled first to the NEC and then to the National Council, which is the IFP's highest 
decision-making body between conferences. The National Council this afternoon deliberated on this report and carefully considered the direction to take to rebuild South Africa and contribute to the future of our country. I take pleasure in briefing you and the people of South Africa on the decisions taken by our National Council. The National Council of the IFP having met to discuss the various scenarios presented to them, they have decided on the following. At a national level, at a, at a national level, the IFP has decided in forming part of a government of national unity, the IFP has agreed to form part of the government of national unity. Provincially, we are working towards forming a government in the province of Wazulu Natal, having met with the ANC, DA, and the NFP in this province. This continues to be a work in progress <coughs> while we understand the deadlines of Friday. I must clarify on the issue <coughs> of Umkondo Wesizwe. On the MK party question and the subsequent letter which has been circulating in the public domain, we can confirm that we have received a letter and we agreed to meet with Umkondo Wesizwe party. However, the leadership of the MK failed to honor a pre-arranged meeting. Our delegation waited for some time. However, when they failed to arrive, the meeting was cancelled. There has been renewed attempts today by the MK party to reach out to the IFP. Talks are still underway with regards to a coalition government in Houghton. The IFP has confirmed its willingness to join that government of provincial unity in the province of Houghton. In addition, as I have outlined before, the IFP will join a government of national unity that includes the ANC and the Democratic Alliance. In reality, the only options are to become part of the government or part of the opposition. The mandate we received from the electorate is for the IFP to contribute to the effective governance of South Africa. We recognize the responsibility this bestows on us to participate in government based on the will of the electorate. We will participate in the government of national unity for the sake of our country and for the sake of our people who want life to continue with a stable government that will address their challenges. This is the sole reason why the IFP supports the idea of the formation of the government of national unity and why we will join the GNU. We welcome the opportunity to bring the IFP's principal leadership and integrity in the governance of our country. This is not uncharted territory for the IFP. The IFP has vast experience in governance at a national and provincial level. It is our track record in governance that end as the trust of the people of South Africa. The IFP served in the government of national unity from 1994 
1999 and shared governance with the ANC in Wazulu Natal from 1999 to 2004. I can therefore assure you the people of the media and the people of South Africa that the IFP will not lose its identity by entering the government of national unity. The 13 point plan manifesto that we promised to the people of South Africa during our election campaign remains our commitment that we will strive for and for the people of South Africa. It is time for the IFP to strengthen government again. We are putting the stability and the best interest of South Africa first, as we committed to do so throughout the election campaign. In the GNU, the IFP will bring integrity, stability, and the drive to take forward our country and its people to a better future. In conclusion, let me reiterate what I said on the 2nd of June 2024 at the Results Center in Johannesburg. I want again to thank the volunteers, coordinators, members of the IFP, and all its leaders who shouldered our massive, aggressive, and assertive campaign. Above all, I want to thank the people of South Africa who gave us peaceful elections. We are humbled by the trust of the IFP, given to the IFP through the ballot box. We dedicated this election to our founder, Thank you for the effort, energy, time, and dedication each member of our party and each member of our society gave to our campaign in honor of the founder of the IFP, Prince Mangosutu Mutelis. And lastly, I want to convey our gratitude to the media for enabling us to effectively communicate the IFP's message of hope. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, I really have to hold.